What was the appeal of my life as a teenage robot? A couple of weeks ago, somebody asked us a very interesting question. They were wondering what exactly makes my life as a teenage robot appealing to fans like us. They didn't really see how the series stands out, or what makes it special. I completely respect their opinion, and I understand where they were coming from. In the early 2000s, there were so many comedy-focused cartoons, especially on Nickelodeon. People outside of the My Life as a Teenage Robot fandom might not be able to see why we enjoy the show. So, I'll try my best to explain why I personally find the show appealing. First of all, the art style is extremely appealing to me. The Art Deco style really suits the series, and it makes everything look unique. It's very refreshing to watch a cartoon that doesn't have the Klasky, Supo, Butch Hartman, or CalArts style. Another appealing thing about the show is how relatable it can be. Jenny goes through a lot of situations teenagers have gone through. She gets hopeless crushes, has bad relationships, has to deal with puberty, and so on. These situations are shown in ways that can be enjoyed by people of all ages, since it's shown in an exaggerated form, with the robot as the main character. This makes the episodes enjoyable, and more subtle for younger audiences. Of course, Danny Phantom does the same relatability aspect, but My Life as a Teenage Robot came first, and I'd argue that it did it better too. The show is pretty obscure too. It went over the radar of many people in the early 2000s, possibly turned off by parts of the show which are earlier. This made me want to spread the word of the show online, which has gone pretty well so far. The reason why I started watching My Life as a Teenage Robot in the first place was because I had very vague memories of it. Even though I may have only watched a few episodes 10 years before I decided to watch it again, I still remembered bits and details about the show. The series had so many memorable episodes and moments, and charming relationships, especially between Jenny and her mom, or Jenny and Sheldon. This made me incredibly attached to the show. When we asked the My Life as a Teenage Robot fanbase Facebook group on what made the show appealing to them, a lot of them had the same opinion as me, so I feel confident enough to say that my reasons make sense. Anyways, what makes My Life as a Teenage Robot special to you? If you like to see more My Life as a Teenage Robot related content, be sure to like and subscribe. This has been your narrator Shane Zoltak. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a rating. If you want to reach us, leave a comment. Or check out our other platforms. Links are in the description.